came out in a second. This one was built in 1986, over 100 years later. This is the largest two by the Over 1,600 rooms here. And then the third Peabody Hotel opened in Little Rock, Arkansas, in this century, 2002. Three hotels, ladies and gentlemen. Only three places in the world where you can see what you're going to see tonight. This little slice of history, this witnessing of a great American tradition. In each of these hotels, ladies and gentlemen, there is one family of five marching mallards, just like this one here. One male and four females. In each hotel. In each hotel, also, ladies and gentlemen, there is one and only one duck master. It's a trademark type. Nobody in the world, you know that? <laughs> nobody in the world can use the title duck master except the Peabody Hotel. We have Jason Duck Master in Memphis, Tennessee. We have Lloyd Duck Master in Little Rock, Arkansas. But only in Orlando do we have Donald Duck Master. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have two very special guests with me here this evening. I have Claire, who's actually three years old. She's just celebrating her third birthday, and she chose to march along with our ducks today to bring them to their dinner up in the, up in the palace on the recreation level. And her brother, Brady, is along with her to march along as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I would suggest that if you have not seen the Ducks Palace where they stay when they're not here in the back, that you do so. It is a $100,000 building. It's all black travertine marble on the inside. It has two sculpted duck fountains and a pool. Mm -hmm. Just for these five birds. They go up there for dinner. No evenings allowed. Enjoy the march, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions at all, I'll be around shortly afterwards and answer all of them. You realize today you witness history and you witness a great American tradition. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. May I have your attention, please? At the center of the lobby stands the classic Peabody Fountain. Back in the 1930s, in the lobby fountain of the Peabody Memphis, a unique tradition began which has made the South's Grand Hotel famous the world over. If I may now direct your attention to our fountain, you'll witness here in Orlando a continuation of that time-honored tradition, an experience uniquely yours as a guest of the Peabody Orlando, preparing to return to their Royal Duck Palace for the night. Ladies and gentlemen, the March of the Peabody Ducks.